morning everybody good day how are y'all doing today i figured that since i have not been in my regular setting a few times already especially like today i'm not in my normal setting i've been doing a lot of like remote work and i figured i would show you all what's in my travel bag because I carry a lot of things with me when I'm remote working and I thought it might be interesting for you guys to know what I carry. So this is my bag right here. This is the Copac water resistant tech bag and I got this off Amazon. Um, if I can link it, I will link it down below in the description box for you guys. I keep literally everything in here that I'm going to need. The first thing that I keep in here, which is very, very handy, is this collapsible stand for my laptop. I also got this off of Amazon, however, I wouldn't really suggest getting this exact same one, even though this one does work very well. There are better ones out there, but this one just opens up and you can stand it just like this on the desk. And it provides some airflow for your laptop so your laptop doesn't overheat when it's sitting on a desk and you don't have like your normal stand with you and such like that. And it comes with its own little drawstring case to hold it in. So that way you can just very easily Put it in a side pocket like that. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I have in here is definitely going to be cables because there's always going to be cables that you need when you are working remotely. So I have a few in here, one of them is tangled <laughs> is my charge cable for my phone and for you know other things so that's just one i also like to carry ear pods wired ones i don't particularly like the wireless ones i know unpopular opinion but i don't particularly like the wireless ones so i carry these and that way i can um listen to stuff without bothering other people and for some reason i have like random socks in here i don't know why i have socks in here but I have socks in here. Of course, I have hand sanitizer. I have different kinds, just in case I need to wash my hands without washing my hands. So that's all in this little pocket. This backpack has a lot of pockets, by the way. This backpack also has um, a really great feature in the big zip here. There is a little section for charging your tech in here. There's an accessory cable here, it's USB, and this is for charging your stuff without having to open your backpack. You see that there? That right there is where you can plug in anything that you need to plug in, so that way um, you can charge your stuff without having to use up like other charging cords at places. So you can hook up a battery pack to this little USB and then charge anything you need to right here in this little concealed spot. Now the next thing that I have in here is going to be my laptop. I have this big bad boy. This is a Acer laptop. This thing is huge as you can tell. It's quite powerful. This is a gaming laptop because I do a lot of design work and I need a powerful machine. So um, this is my big powerful laptop with my external hard drive just attached there. I just attached it with 3M tape guys. It was not like super ingenious, but just really inexpensive solution. Just a 3M tape, the hard drive on top of the computer. So that way it's completely mobile and I don't have to worry about having to reconnect it, disconnect it, uh, lose it, or um, worry about like forgetting it and such like that. So it's always attached. And then the next thing I have in here is going to be my iPad. Now this is the case for my iPad. This is by Zugu. This is by Zugu Case. So Zugu Case is really good. Um, it has a flip open 
I have to clean it, but it has a flip open and a stand so you can stand it up just like so. And it has different viewing angles that you can stand this up at. So that way you can get all the viewing angles that you want out of this because we love that. So that is my iPad. I have a 10.2 inch iPad uh, with a, uh, this is seventh gen and a Apple Pencil 1 because I don't have this version two. I have Apple Pencil 1 for that. And this case does really well, which is holding everything together. So it holds the pen back here, the pencil back here, and then it covers the screen right here. So I always keep that in my backpack as well. I also have a laptop security, a laptop security zip in the back here. So here is the, it's probably a little difficult to show you guys, but these are the straps to the backpack here. And then um, underneath the straps is a security laptop zip. You're probably wondering why I don't have my laptop in this zipper. Honestly, I don't have it in there because of comfort reasons. And I find that my setup with my hard drive on my computer, it doesn't tend to want to fit particularly here. I mean, it is a decent size, but I just find that it pulls too much with my configuration that I have now. I did used to put my laptop in this security pouch here, but sometimes I just put my iPad in there. It works both ways. So, um, but yeah, there is a double insulated secure laptop zip right here behind and underneath the straps, which the straps are pretty durable. Like they're pretty thick and they're comfy. So that's the backpack. There's also another zipper right here. So there is one, two, three, technically four compartments for zippers. Um, the small one right there where I leave all my cables and my hand sanitizer. This first one, the second one where I keep all my tech and then the security one back here. There's also room, there's like an internal zipper in the big zip where you can put like other tech stuff like um, headphones or um, books, tablets. You can, there's also separate spaces for your phone, for like phones and such like that. The internal pocket in here, this one here, that one, um, that is actually meant for tablets. So that's why I keep my iPad in that one more often than not. And then I just have my laptop sitting in this section. But there is another section right here where I keep a lot of stuff. So this changes depending on if I am carrying a purse with me or not. I am today, so there is a few things less in here, but I do keep this camera in this bag when I'm traveling. I set it on top, but I also have my charging cable scenario right here. Um, this is for my laptop. It's big bulky. I have cable managed it, cable managed it to the best of my ability, but I need more cable ties because um, my cable ties is just one right now. The other one broke because it was 3D printed. Mind you, the 3D printed ones are good, but you have to use like a more high quality, flexible plastic that won't break. Um, mine broke over time. I think it lasted like a year, almost a year and a half before it broke. So very good, but I just need to get new cable ties for that. I normally keep my mouse in here if I'm using a mouse. I have my brand new uh, Steel Series Rival 3 wireless mouse. This I reviewed in my last vlog, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it. Um, this is amazing. I love it so much, and it makes things so much easier when I'm editing and such like that to use a mouse. <laughs> I also keep my blog journal and all my writings for Medium um, in here and my planner, my little moleskin navy planner that I use. So that's also in here. And then with those comes all my pens and markers. So for pens and markers, I like to use the, I like to use two different brands. 
So I have my Stadler fine liners and I also have my Micron pens as well. These two I use the most. I use different sizes uh, for my planning. I use an 03 in the Micron and a 0.4 millimeter in the Stadler. So that is those. Use that for my planning. And then all of the colors that I use for my planning, because you guys have seen my planner before, um, all the colors I use are these midliner markers that are really, really pretty and they do really well because they don't bleed through the paper. Because moleskin paper is not very thick. So I use those for all my planning and those usually stay in here. Now I also have some sticky notes. <laughs> I use sticky notes sometimes when I'm editing. So if there's anything that I want to add in or if there's like information I want to add in the description box, I usually write it on a sticky note um, or like any little ideas for like social media and stuff. I also have a travel power adapter. Now this is super handy because it has a plug socket right there indicated by yellow and also has two USB ports there as well so that way you can plug stuff in like a phone charger cable because you know it has that USB right there or I can charge my laptop with this because it has a regular plug socket like that so when I'm traveling in a car and I'm stuck somewhere for like an hour or two, I would just plug this into the like lighter socket, you know, for lighters. Um, I put this in there and it has different angles so I can pretty much fit it anywhere really because most cars have like one or two lighter sockets in there and I can charge all my stuff on the go so that way I don't run out of battery and my computer doesn't die. So. This is very, very handy. This is by, I can't even say that. Um, you guys can screenshot it if you want. You can get this on Amazon. You can get it, I think you can get it at Target too, or versions like this. So this was just super handy because it has two different um, connecting ports there. So I always carry that in here. It's always very important for me to carry that because I don't want to have my computer die when I'm in the middle of like a really important edit. And then the last thing I have in here, let me see. Um, I typically will have like band-aids and healing ointment because, you know, I'm clumsy and I get hurt sometimes. So I would normally have that in here as well, but um, they're in my purse. Uh, the last thing I have is my glasses case. I got this off of Amazon. Um, this just holds typically my sunglasses, but my sunglasses are currently in my purse right now. But this holds my blue light blocking glasses which I have shown you guys before in a previous vlog, but I will, if I can link these, I will link these for you. They just block any kind of blue light and that way you don't have to like strain your eyes when you're working. So there you go. They look pretty cool, I think. So that is everything that I have in my travel bag and I have a mess in front of me. So I'm going to just quickly clean all this up by the way um if you guys are wondering in these in this backpack there are pockets just like any other backpack where i hold like all my pens pencils my mouse and charging stuff and then you there's like pencil slots here as well so or pen slots utensil slots whatever there is a zip mesh pocket in here as well so i'm just going to pack everything back in where it's supposed to go. <laughs> Can you tell that I need more cable ties because this does not have a cable tie on it? I need to get more. I need to go to like to con the container store or something to get more because I swore I had like two or three more. I just can't seem to find them anywhere. So I'm gonna have to get more, especially for these because they're always tangled, always. Doesn't matter if I put them back neatly or not, they always get tangled. Okay, and I think that's all I'm going to pack up because I do have to do some work 
So I'm gonna leave the rest of this out for now, except for that journal. Put that journal back in here. And that is pretty much it, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this little what's in my travel bag version for myself. This is more like what's in my remote travel bag, really, but um, that is everything that I carry. I do have to cleanse this like every now and then. By the way, I didn't mention, but there is pockets on both sides. So there's a pocket here on the outside and then there's a pocket here on the outside where I keep my stand. So there are two pockets and there's also a clip section right here where you can like keep clip something to there if you need to, I never do, but there are those like little features as well. I don't know if they sell this one anymore, but if I can link it, I will do my best to link it for you guys. So that way you can get one if you want one. There is different colors, so this isn't just the only color. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little impromptu what's in my travel bag and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.